This is the fourth video in my clicker series covering the pre-painting of the mask, which took me one day to do. I painted this latex mask with Pax paint, which is acrylic paint mixed 50-50 with NoTac Prosade adhesive. The Prosade is added to help the acrylic paint adhere to the latex mask without flaking or rubbing off, giving it more flexibility and adhesion strength. I started with a white Pax paint, so a white acrylic base mixed in with 50% NoTac Prosade adhesive. I then thinned this down with water until it would flow through my airbrush and airbrushed it on for a fast, even coverage. You can also hand paint this layer, but it might show up texture and brush strokes if you don't do it carefully. I did two to three layers until it had a uniform, opaque coverage. Next, I moved on to using my Skin Illustrator Alcohol Activated Color. I got some color from my palette, dunking the brush back and forth into isopropyl alcohol mix until it was pigmented enough, and then I airbrushed it towards the edges of the mask. The alcohol gives a more translucent color, which is good for building this kind of transition shade. You can also use Pax paint, it is usually more pigmented, but you can thin it out with water and airbrush on thin layers to achieve a similar look. I then mixed a burnt orange color from my alcohol palettes, but this wasn't enough coverage, it wasn't opaque enough to pop like I wanted it to. So I moved back to Pax paint, mixing up a vibrant blood orange color, and started to hand paint it onto the outer tips. This mix isn't thinned with water, it's just the pure mix, so I would use one brush to apply the color and then a bigger brush with water to blend out the color down towards the center of the mask to create a gradient. If you're good with an airbrush and you prefer it, you can also airbrush this color. I just felt like I had a bit more control with the brush and my hands. Next I made some more packs for a gum colour and painted that around the teeth. I used some isopropyl alcohol on a cotton tip to wipe off any colour that accidentally got onto the resin teeth. Then back into the alcohol colours, I used some greys to darken the centre of the mask and make the split look deeper as I lost some depth to the seam of the mould. I both airbrushed and hand painted the shadow colour, building up the layers. I had a little bit of grey left in the airbrush, so I sprayed it thinly on areas around the mask to add some depth and dirty it up a little bit. Then I went in with some alcohol paints to the gum area to make that look more realistic, so adding browns, pinks, greys, making it look kind of sore and gross. Then I decided that the mask was a bit too orange and bright for my liking, so I went back over everything with some off-white alcohol paint in my airbrush, just to take back that colour a little bit. I also wasn't happy with the gum colour, so I mixed up a new Pax gum colour that was a bit brighter and a bit pinker, and I painted that over the top. Then I brought back some brighter orange in the very outer edge of the sculpt, airbrushing that original orange Pax mix thinly. I did another layer of alcohol colour detail on the gums and then I coated the gums and teeth in clear nail enamel to make it look wet and shiny. I also coated the mask in a layer of the NoTac Prose, this time with no acrylic paints added so it was clear, and this will help seal all the paint work including the alcohol paints. And then I also sprayed it with a layer of Final Seal, which is another sealer which is supposed to be matte, but it actually added a little bit of shine to this, which I did like. I also added an elastic band to the back of the mask which will be hidden by my hair. Thanks for watching, check out the next video to see how I tore up and weathered the clicker clothes and what I added to my hair and skin on my lower face, neck and arms to help the mask blend in. And feel free to subscribe if you want updates on when new videos are released. 
Catch you guys soon. Bye.